So ESI data mapping relates to the mapping of electronically stored information. And it's something that is often necessary to do for an organization to have a command and control on their network resources and where their data resides. Data today, electronically stored information can exist in the cloud, it can exist within your, your main office, on employee cell phones and laptops and various other places. So if your company is embroiled in litigation, you need to have an understanding of where your ESI resides. Knowing what you have and where it exists is kind of step one in that process. And some organizations need help with, from a consultant that can come in and help map that process out. Once you know where your data is, um, it puts you in a much better situation if you're involved in litigation. Uh, during litigation, it's common that e-discovery requests will come forth asking for various information. If you know where your data resides, you're in a better situation to manage both the preservation and production of that information, which ultimately will save you time and money. If you don't know where your data resides, you often are in a situation where you have to over collect information and you spend much more than is necessary on preserving various sources of data. Or worse yet, you fail to preserve something when you're on notice that you should preserve and then you're subject to problems such as spoliation of evidence. It's important to avoid being in a situation where important evidence gets deleted accidentally or intentionally. When that happens, it's not uncommon for a court to issue an adverse inference or even a sanction against a company costing them millions of dollars. It's important when you're involved in litigation that you take appropriate measures to preserve important relevant documents. Not doing so could lead to your firm being subject of spoliation allegations or even sanctions by the court, which could result in millions of dollars of fines. One of the things we can do to help assist you is create a visual map rendering of your data, where it exists in the cloud, on your various networks and whatnot, so that executives can have a high level understanding of where their data resides and what's important to preserve. Some of the benefits of mapping out your ESI data, both in the cloud and locally, is that it can save you much money during litigation. It lowers the preservation costs of di uh, preserving digital information, and it allows you to only process what's necessary and relevant, which can save you a significant amount of money on your e-discovery bill. It's also helpful to verify that your ship's in order. So some companies may wanna do this before they're forced to do it as a result of litigation. Our firm has experience. Uh, personally, I've worked for over two decades helping companies get command of their information around the world in various locations and help to respond to data investigations. If you're looking for help with mapping out your ESI across your network and need help responding to litigation discovery requests, you found the right firm to work with. Give us a call today.